PreSona Studio One 5 now supports MPE, and it's not obvious how to get it to work. So we'll take you through that with the MPE controller, the Sensor Morph, and some MPE plugins. First thing we'll want to do is make sure that MPE is enabled in the Morph. The simplest way to do that is to add the overlay and add the piano MPE, in this case, because we're using the piano overlay, and we'll send that map to the Morph. Now, the first thing we need to do in PreSonus is go to our Preferences and select the External Devices tab, and we'll want to make sure that the Morph is showing. Double-click on that, and make sure that Enable MPE is ticked on. Once that's on, then the DAW will pass on MPE data to the plugins. On the right in this browser, I have all the different uh, effects and files that I can add to PreSonus and instruments. I'll want to find my plugins. Here's the first thing. Only VST2 instances are supported. So VST3 and AU in PreSonus 1 do not support MPE. So you'll want to find the VST2 version of your plugin. And here I have Continuous selected, and you'll see that it's category VST2. If you don't have the VST2 version, you'll want to go back, get the installers for your software, and make sure that it installs the VST2 version. This is the case for Mac or for Windows. Now I can just drag this over to a track. But we're not quite ready yet. There's going to be a couple things we need to do. First, we'll need to go to the header and select Enable MPE. Now the DAW will pass to the plugin MPE data, but then we'll also usually need to somehow enable MPE. So this is usually done in a settings tab or somewhere, for example, in pigments, there's a little button down here. In Serum, there's a menu that allows you to enable MPE. That needs to be enabled for the plugin. So once that is done, you can close it out. And that is pretty much it. We're getting MIDI data in. Let's try an MPE preset. And now I'm getting per finger pressure and gesture. And per finger pressure and pitch bend as well. So that is a quick overview of getting MPE working in PreSonus 5. We have a lot of tutorials that we do for MPE. Look through our archives, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and keep up with all of the synthesizers, controllers, and software that we cover, and help get you going on MPE.